Me by a pastor in a seminar, do you believe in being slain in the Spirit? Have you heard that phrase? And I said, well, yes, it's biblical. Ananias and Sapphira were slain in the Spirit. <laughs> and I said, uh, if you want the experience, just tell a lie about what you put in the offering and make sure Simon Peter is your pastor and you too can be slain in the Spirit. And he said, you're evading the question, David, you know what I mean? I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, falling on the ground. Well, I said, why didn't you say falling on the ground? I said, that's how the Bible calls it. And then, of course, it doesn't mean that God pushed you. It's simply falling on the ground. And I said, that's biblical too. Ezekiel fell on the ground many times. Paul fell on the ground. John fell on the ground. But they weren't pushed. Don't blame the Spirit when people flake out. That's a human reaction to the Divine Presence. And Ezekiel, more than once, when he was confronted with the Divine Presence, fell on the ground. The interesting thing is that again and again God says, Stand up again, I haven't finished talking to you. <laughs> and also it says that the Spirit raised me to my feet. Now it doesn't take the Spirit to fall on the ground, but it does take the Spirit to lift you onto your feet again. So I believe in being raised by the Spirit. But I believe it's perfectly biblical for somebody confronted with the Divine Presence to fall on the floor. If they suddenly do that, I believe the Spirit is at work. And that's what happened to Ezekiel. I'll just throw that in because it's amazing what people do with the Bible. We introduce phrases like slain in the Spirit or resting in the Spirit, which are not biblical, and have a wrong connotation underneath them. Be biblical, and it is biblical to fall on the ground and it's biblical to be raised by the Spirit. And that's what happened to Ezekiel here.